Hi, this is Bailey James. Bailey, it's Mac from Nude Reviews. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for calling. We really appreciate it. No problem. So what have you been up to? Um, nothing too much. I'm actually driving. I just got back in Vegas and driving from L.A. Um, I did the, like, Free Speech Coalition thingy last night. Oh, how was that? It was cool. It was, um, everyone was there. I don't, I'm so new. I only knew a couple people, so I kind of, like, I, like, glued myself to Bella Donna and just learned what I know, so... Cool. And then, um, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna interrupt you real quick. Everyone I ever talked to loves Belladonna. You can't not love her. She's What's, like so freaking nice. It's retarded. She's so nice. I swear, I could literally play back like 30 interviews and every single girl. And I don't bring her name up at all. They all they all mention Belladonna and they just love her to death. That's so funny. Well, that's, I guess that's like the best thing to be nice. Everyone will talk about you. She's like, she really is just like the sweetest person in the industry. That's what I hear. I hear it over and over again. So, um, so it all went well. You had a good time. Yeah, I had a blast. It was really cool. Lots of. I mean, it was new to me because I'd never had like a super, like machine gun paparazzi photo thing happen. Where there's like a thousand people taking your in, picture, but it it's was, intense, right? It was cool. Yeah, it was intense. It was fun. Actually, yeah. every every morning when I come into work, that's what's outside the office for me. Really? Yeah. There's usually at least thirty or forty photographers taking my picture. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm obviously I'm kidding. Thinking, I'm like so bad at telling them people are joking, so I'm just like, I'm like, I'm gonna wait it out. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait. We'll be some awkward silence. We'll see what happens. No, I, um, I, I love sarcasm. I live for it. But um, no, that's really cool. I couldn't imagine. I've actually never experienced that before in my life. I think I'd probably clam up a little bit, to be honest. I, I definitely did. I think, so at least for a second. Then like, I, you know, I kind of got used to it. I just, cause I mean, I don't look like everyone else, especially once it comes out. That like I'm I'm a sexual actress. It's like, usually everyone's really warm about it. It's like oh my god, no way! Like I have no idea, blah blah blah. But it's still like kind of like you don't know when to bring it up, and you know, music be awkward. Do you, like, well, do, you, gonna do you run into that more often than not when people people don't know? Uh oh, no one's ever been able to tell. Like you know what I mean? Like there's nothing about me that's masculine enough, other than my penis. Like, it's not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not like super tall or anything. Like no one's it'd be an, if anyone was able to tell, like it would be insane. There was yeah. Like the way it was well, that's wild. Well, how long how long have you been how long have you been in the industry now? Um. Well, I started out doing solos for I started when I was nineteen, so I guess like two and a half, three years. Okay. I was doing solos, and and because I, I am lucky enough to be a uh, transsexual, I kind of skate by on on my looks. Right. I only had two solos because I was so passable. People were like, they were just mesmerized by the fact that I had a penis. So I got I got away with that for a few years. <laughs> I had to ante up and ultimately end up doing like hardcore, but it's it's fun. I work with girls and, and, and other uh, transsexuals that are more passable, and, and it's fun. I have a good time. And, and you're enjoying it so far, so that's good. Definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. Making my money, my website's doing great, making lots of money, so I'm happy. That's awesome. That's awesome. I guess it's really all about getting your own website. For a lot of people I talk to, I know it's a big deal, um, and I think when I first started interviewing people, I didn't really see you know i didn't really put as much stock in it but after going you know doing this for a long time now i realize it's such a big deal and also for like you personally it's a sense of pride you know without a doubt definitely i feel i feel like almost it doesn't really make sense for for you know a genetic female porn star to really to do a solo thing i don't i couldn't imagine it would be really really lucrative only because they can go on naughty america or browsers and get a bunch of girls Exactly. They could, yeah. They could go to all the big, the big companies and and do it. But I guess if you've got something really specific or something really individual, um, you know, you could, it could be lucrative. But you're right. I agree with you. The people who tend to who tend to be in the media and be in my website actually aren't into the trainings. A lot of them have, have told me they canceled their browser subscription. Really? Uh, yeah, it's because it kind of pushes the envelope. It makes it just like a little bit dirtier. You know, like it's just like it's. it's, it's you always have to like up it a little bit. Like you watch your girl get banged in the pussy, you got hot for five minutes, and then she gets you banged in the ass. And after a while, that stops being hot. Yeah. And everyone just moves. They just keep having to move to the next season, but it's a little bit more of a size. And I think me looking like a hot girl and having a penis is just like whoa. So for some people, it's a, it's just too much, I guess. But that's what the industry's oh, yeah, all like about, though. Fun. You know, pushing the envelopes. What's this industry's been about since day one? You know. So I don't. I mean, I certainly don't see the big deal, but. 
you know. Yeah, it definitely isn't for all people. Like I mean, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> some no. people like the girls with vagina. Exactly. Some people want vanilla. <laughs> some people want vanilla ice cream, right? <laughs> it's true. Well, what were you doing? What were you doing prior to all this? Um, lots of stuff. I'm not even really. I was doing like regular modeling for a while in Virginia, about that, which is where I'm from. Oh, where in Virginia? Uh, Richmond, Virginia. Richmond's a cool town. It is pretty cool. It's, it's farms on one side and like hipsters on the other. So it depends on where you are. Yeah, you've got all the hipsters on Cary Street, and then you've got the fan. It's pretty cool. I dig Richmond. That's crazy. I can't believe you know about it. Oh, Richmond. I, Richmond's like my hometown. That's cool. I definitely was super into it. Like, I, I, I liked it, but I'm having more fun in Vegas, surprisingly enough. So you're living in Vegas, and then, you know, do you travel to L.A. to work a little bit, or do you travel all over, or what's what's what's, what's usually happening? I'm just traveling the, to L.A. usually, just because it's, it's work, it's nonstop work. So mm-hmm. I go to L.A. to shoot scenes, and I, I shoot my, uh, I shoot in, uh, Vegas sometimes because my photographer lives here too. Oh, nice. But like, yeah, but for the most part, it's, it's yeah, they shoot in LA for, for uh, Evil Angel and Joey. Awesome. Uh, so Vera, who's really, really cool. That's good. So you'd say you've, for the most part, over the, the last two and a half or three years, you've found pretty much everyone in the industry to be pretty friendly, or, you know, do you have a few gripes, or? Um, basically, everyone I've met has been a complete sweetheart. They, they're super That's nice. I met bigger assholes in Sunday school, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> when we were back then, but like, yeah, like, I'm in porn now, and yeah. everyone's incredibly nice and warm, and they're like, you have a cock that's no Evan Jones, don't quote me on this, totally cool, I'm a penis. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to him last night, and I was like, blah, 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 he was like, oh my god, you're so gorgeous, and I was like, yeah, I'm a transsexual, and he was like, I don't care. <laughs> He's like, I don't even care, you're beautiful, right? Yeah, he was, like, freaking out. He's like, my girlfriend would love you. Oh, my God, you think my girlfriend, blah, 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 blah. It's just super duper. Everyone's just so sweet. That's the only people I get any sort of, any negativity from, that I'd say, other models. Like, other attorneys don't like me. But I'm yeah. nice, I swear. There's rumors that I mean, but I'm so nice. It's just everyone hates the pretty girl. No, I, I haven't heard anything bad yet, so I'm just going to go off of this. And so far, I think you're fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> do you uh, do you still talk to a lot of people back home, or do they do they did you lose a lot of friends, or how did that all happen when you when you got into the industry? Um, basically, like all my friends, I had all my friends, and all my friends are boys, and not I think girls are batshit crazy. Most <laughs> are guys. Me too. I look a lot like a female. I I say this all the time. I'm sure there are a lot of transsexual journalists possible with me. That are way more of a girl than me because like looks wise i look totally like a chick undetectable no one can tell but in my brain i'm such a dude like i, I like i don't like drama i don't fight i've always been nice to all my boyfriends i i'm not oh, basically i'm not a, a mental patient and i'm not like driving everyone crazy like i'm super chill and i like video games and sex and i i'm i'm, I'm cool to be around but so everyone back home they're all guys and, and so we still talk there's no drama there's no point out they're like you're doing porn 